seed family this is abby cortez your seedlings coordinator i'm making this video for all of the parents the volunteers really anybody who has anything to do with the seedlings ministry and to just let you know of some changes that are coming up starting the first weekend in september um, we have changes in the age divisions for the classrooms we have a new classroom we are switching some of the classrooms around uh, just a few little things here and there, um, but we think it's going to help the Seedlings Ministry run much more smoothly overall. Um, so just come along with me and I'll show you which rooms are being changed and what they look like. One thing you'll notice this weekend is we have new signs designating the new age ranges. The Seeds Room, the Baby Room, is the only one that doesn't have any changes. The next room is the Roots Room. This is the Toddler Room. Um, it is the exact same room. The only change is the age range. So you'll see it says two to four years. Um, this means that if any kiddo is two, three, or four years old and they are not in pre-kindergarten or kindergarten, then they are in this room. The next classroom we're going to talk about is Sprouts. This is the pre-kindergarten to kindergartners. So any kiddo in pre-kindergarten or kindergarten will be in the Sprouts room. Now this room, we have switched it up a little bit. So these kiddos, because there's so many of them, will be in this big kid classroom. Now this has always been the biggest kids, um, but we're gonna switch that around because there's so many kiddos in this classroom. The last classroom that will be opening up, and this is the new classroom that we've opened up, is for the trees. This is first and second graders. They are in this classroom right here, right off the door, okay? Um, so this is their classroom. They've got the TV and everything. So this one's ready for them. All right, just a couple more things about the trees classroom. Um, the first thing is a lot of these big kids, they're used to just going straight into the big classroom. And we could really use parents' help with this, um, letting them know, letting the kids know ahead of time, like, hey, you're not going into that classroom. You have a new classroom. Um, just go to where the sign says trees. That's where you're going to go. Um, just having the kids know that ahead of time and even reminding them Sunday morning would be a huge help for our volunteers who are going to try and make sure everyone gets in the right spot uh, this upcoming Sunday. Um, another thing that's different in this classroom is that we only have one volunteer in this room with these kids. These kids are older, they're first and second graders, they know how to act in a classroom, they're a little bit better behaved as far as like listening and doing what they're told um, than maybe our younger kids. And so we felt that only one volunteer in there would be sufficient. Um, there's also the space issue since it is a smaller classroom, we didn't want everybody crammed in there like sardines. And that's it. Those are all the updates for Seedlings. Um, we're really hoping that this makes Seedlings run a lot more smoothly. There won't be any classrooms with like a crazy large number of kids anymore. And so that'll be a relief for a lot of our volunteers. Um, so yeah, we are looking forward to starting this off this Sunday. And we're looking forward to seeing you and your kiddos.